Today, portability is an indispensable part of almost every electronic device. This has given rise to the creation of numerous different types of batteries. However, out of all different kinds of batteries, lithium-ion and lithium polymer are the most popular. While lithium-ion batteries have remained traditionally in all your portable gadgets and smartphones, lithium polymer batteries are the ones that get utilized in more advanced devices and modern flagship gadgets. Now you might think if both these batteries get used in electronic gadgets, why we are discussing lithium-ion battery versus lithium polymer battery. However, you must understand that there are differences between the two, mainly based on longevity and battery safety. Lithium-ion batteries have existed for a long time now, and it is still the most prevalent battery choice for almost every electronic device. The main reason why these batteries are so popular is that they are long-lasting, hold a high energy density, and are comparatively affordable to create. Lithium-ion or Li-ion batteries are rechargeable kinds of batteries that are profoundly compact. This is the reason why they get used for electric vehicles such as aerospace purposes. Also, in lithium-ion batteries, the positively charged lithium ions get transferred from the anode by the electrolyte to the cathode and vice versa. Since these lithium-ion batteries are long-lasting, they can last for approximately 2 to 3 years or 300 to 500 charge rounds. The lithium polymer battery is another rechargeable battery type that utilizes a polymer electrolyte rather than a liquid electrolyte. This variation in choice makes lithium poly batteries to be highly effective and secure for use. These lithium polymer batteries are handy and hence are obtainable in varied configurations and sizes. Lithium polymer battery technology again utilizes a positive and negative electrode with a dry thick permeable chemical or gel like electrolyte. As a consequence, polymer batteries can extend a lower profile, resilient, and sturdier designs. Hence, it might not be wrong to say that lithium polymer batteries are safer. However, this does not imply that they remain immune from problems like getting punctured or overheated. The most fundamental distinction between lithium polymer and lithium ion batteries is the biochemical electrolyte within the negative and positive electrodes. While a lithium ion battery uses a liquid electrolyte, a lithium polymer battery uses a dry solid, gel-like electrolyte. A lithium ion battery is a rechargeable battery format that first grew in popularity thanks to their adoption by major electronics companies in the early 1990s. They are essentially a group of very rigid electricity generating compartments, which consists of three pieces, a positive electrode, a negative electrode, and an electrolyte, or liquid chemical compound between them. Most lithium ion batteries, unlike more traditional ones, also include an electronic controller which regulates power and discharge flows so your battery doesn't overheat or explode. The most significant difference between lithium-ion and lithium polymer batteries is the chemical electrolyte between their positive and negative electrodes. In LiPo batteries it isn't a liquid. Instead, LiPo technology uses one of three forms, a dry solid, which was largely phased out during the prototype years of lithium polymer batteries, a porous chemical compound, or a gel-like electrolyte. The most popular among these is the last one, which is the type of battery you'll find in newer laptop computers and electric cars. The catch is that plenty of companies are not actually selling you a true LiPo battery, instead it's a lithium-ion polymer battery, or Li-ion in a more flexible casing. As Li-ion batteries have become more popular in consumer electronics, businesses have tried to lower costs by cutting corners. While quality batteries are perfectly safe, you should always be careful when buying no-name brands. Lithium polymer batteries, on the other hand, are generally robust and flexible, especially when it comes to the size and shape of their build. They are also lightweight, have an extremely low profile, and have a lower chance of suffering from leaking electrolyte. But lithium polymer batteries aren't perfect either, they are significantly more costly to manufacture, and they do not they have the same energy density, amount of power that can be stored, nor lifespan as a lithium ion.